My name is Alain Sheiko and I'm the 2012 Stella Artois World Trough Master. The nine step pouring ritual actually brings Stella Artois to its optimum flavor. It can deliver more than 600 years of brewing experience straight to the customer. The first step of the nine step pouring ritual is the purification. It's one of the most important steps because you want a perfectly clean and cold glassware. It should be more or less at the same temperature of the, of the beer, of the liquid, and that's around 3 degrees. In Dutch it's het offer, in English you say the sacrifice. The principle is you open a tap in one swift movement and you let the first burst of foam flow away to make sure that each drop of Stella Arzwa that goes into the chalice is perfectly fresh. When you hold your chalice under the, the tap, it should be at a 45 degree angle. So when the liquid actually hits the glass, it starts circulating. And when it circulates, it creates the perfect proportion of liquid compared to foam. We lower and straighten the glass to make sure we get this perfect size of head of more or less two fingers. We remove the glass and we close the tap to make sure that the last drops of, of, of beer doesn't go into the chalice because they came in contact with the air and they're oxidized and it's not worth for uh, your chalice of Stella Artois. One of the most difficult but important steps in the nine step pouring ritual. Really important is that the liquid overflows the chalice. Then you can remove it with a knife in one swift movement under a 45 degree angle. You take a closer look at the beautiful chalice of Stella Artois you poured and you check if the foam head is more or less two fingers, three centimeters. We actually shower the chalice of Stella Artois to make sure it's perfectly clean from the outside and it's comfortable to hold for the customer. We're gonna dress the Stella Artois up with a beautiful drip catcher and we're gonna serve and present it to the customer, always making sure that the logo is facing forward on a coaster and the logo of the coaster also should be facing the customer. And that's the finishing touch.